Hi, this is Karen from Karen's Garden Creations, and I would like to share with you one of my latest large projects. I call it the Snowboard Transformation. I bought this snowboard at a local yard sale down the street, and the first thing I did was sanded it down and took some of the decals off of it. So this was my rough sketch and the beginnings of the bottom part. I envisioned a California scene for the whole thing. And so the first thing was to put some flowers on it and including poppies. And I cut them out with regular wheeled nippers and I glued them down with well bond. Here's the finished bottom portion. While I was waiting for the glue to dry on the bottom portion, I started the middle portion. I envisioned water and used a lot of stained glass as I did with the flowers, but also added a lot of rocks that I'd collected from the lapidary class I took at Modesto Junior College. Then I grouted the bottom portion with a black grout and I started the tree. My idea was to take aluminum foil, glue it down so that it would make a shape of a trunk that would stand out from the board. Then I covered it with adhesive grout. After that, I painted the tree trunk in addition to the rocks, which I mentioned before as the base, I started to work on the um, tiles for the trunk, which included um, small glass tiles, a little bit of gold tiles, and a lot of different stained glass pieces. So here's what the trunk started to look like. I realized that this redwood tree was going to dominate the whole board, so I kind of forewent some of the original plan in the background, and I started to build the top of the tree with some stone tiles and more aluminum. My idea was to also make the leaves very three-dimensional, and I wanted to use dishes such as these for my leaves. So I cut them up with my tile nippers and uh, these are the rough shapes that I started to create. Then I slowly began to add each one and glued it using a, a two-part epoxy clay which will dry extremely hard. I figured this would definitely be indoor outdoor piece so I wanted something that was even stronger than traditional glues. And here's what the board looks like before I added more leaves. Here it is with another day's worth of adding leaves and I still wasn't done. I got to be so excited to see what this project was going to look like that I started working on it at night, especially towards the end. So I finally finished all the leaves and then I was able to make some mountains in the background and a little bit of sky peeking over the mountains. Today I was able to grout it and I used a green grout for the leaves around the trunk and a tan or dark brown grout around the top where the mountains and the sky was. Incidentally, there are about five different colors of grout that I chose for each part of the piece. So this is what it looks like and I'll probably have a final cleanup, but it's pretty much done and I hope that you like it as much as I do. It was quite a 
a lot of work, but the weather was great, so it was a great project to be able to do indoors and out. And that's my video from Karen at Karen's Garden Creations. Hope you enjoyed it.